choose paintings that um, somehow related to the area and the way the New Yorker painters do. And some of them were just so knock you, knock your socks off, beautiful. It, uh, I loved color. I loved uh, brightness. I thought it should, sitting on the floor in a, in a store, and it should look down, it should be like, it's just a beautiful thing. It, it, uh, it kind of came about um, because we had, um, East Hampton Town had wanted to take on the artist uh, to the Paula uh, Krasner House. You may remember, uh, most of you would, you would know that Jackson Pollock lived in East Hampton and he died in East Hampton, he did his work in East Hampton. And uh, he had a stormy marriage and his widow, after he was killed, uh, kept the house up. And she made it known that she wanted it to be uh, preserved in some way as an art center. And I got a phone call at that time, this was in the 1980s, from uh, the town supervisor at that time at East Hampton saying, we should try and take it on. And she asked me to create a committee. I was very flattered to think that she would think of me. And I proceeded, I went, I, I had also just done an article, I had interviewed uh, Lee Krasner. Uh, she was uh, telling me all about how everything in the house was the way it had been when he was there. So I said, well, leave it be. So anyway, over a period of four or five months, we had a weekly meeting with a committee in the house, and people from all through the town came to talk about what they thought it ought to be. Everyone kind of agreed with what I said. And uh, then we went and met the cure, the, uh, I guess you'd call them the, uh, the state people from the city, the lawyers about what we wanted to do. We made a presentation. And then they announced that it would become a house for Stony Brook University, not for the East Hampton town. Um, I went to a party that was held there by the university and met the people who outsmarted us. Um, was still, I, I, I also found out, of course, they wanted to do exactly the way I had thought it should be done as well, so it all worked out. But it got me thinking, holding those meetings, particularly with some of the painters, to see with some of the jealousies, you know, why not this, what, my, my house after I die, you know, all that stuff. And, and why not him, and why would you do this anyway, and, you know, it's over, that the painters uh, needed help. At that time, there was um, an organization called the Jimmy Ernst Foundation, some of you may remember it which was representing all the artists of the East End, particularly in the Hamptons, of which there were many. And uh, somebody had become president of it and had began taking trips on the money and buying the restaurants, and the whole thing kind of collapsed. So the, 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 uh, the thought I had made perfect sense. Uh, I had dinner with a friend in East Hampton who was a painter with about 10 other painters and their spouses. And I proposed the idea. And many of them said, oh, you can't do that. You'll have to pay all these people. I said, no. First of all, we couldn't pay everybody anyway. But I think they would do it. And they all, it was the, the majority, some said that they thought it would work. But most said, don't even try, you won't. About a year or two later, one of the most adamant people saying that I'd have to pay to have this done asked me if I could have his paintings on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> and, so that's, that's the story of how it came about. And uh, I guess uh, it's been 3,000 curations. Wow, wow. Wow. And uh, I tried, I tried to, to make it so that each week you would know it's a new issue because it would be so different. So one week you would see a landscape realistic painting, and the next week it might be an abstract expressionist, and the next week it might be a, you know, something like that. 
We had a, I remember the face of Einstein. I think there's something here about Einstein. And to have this reimagined in this way, where they would take paintings, and I saw one where they shredded the cover. <laughs> it's just wonderful, wonderful to see. I'm so glad I came to see it. I'm glad you came too. And, uh, thank you. Thank you for holding it. And uh, I don't know if anybody wants to ask any questions. I'm quite willing to answer them. Um, enjoy, the, enjoy the show. Thank That's you. Right. Thank you. Well, don't worry, it's anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to watch. <laughs> 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 